Hey guys, okay let me let me get this down just a bit. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a different type of video, not a vlog, but I'm going to be just experiment, experimenting with my penny board. I have these trucks that I took off of my old, the board that I have on my wall, my wall board, my first wall board. And then I have these trucks that I took off of a board before that, that I took off in, a, in one of the vlogs, maybe vlog day two, I think, maybe, don't quote me on that, but, um, yeah, these are, let me look, this is an 8.0 deck, no, this is an 8, this is an 8.838 deck truck. This is an 8.7, an 8 to a 7.75 truck, and this is, these are both 8 to, uh, these are both 7.5 to 8 trucks. So, I have all that I need, I have my tool, my, it's not a drill, it look, it sure does look like one, but it's just a, it just, you, you put in things like that, and you, keep other drill bits. It's just, it's weird. But yeah, I guess let's get on with it. I'm I, What I'm going to, what I need to do first is I need to figure out what kind of, if I even have a truck that will fit this thing. I, let's, let's try this truck. Let's try a, this is a 7.75 through 8. Yeah. Okay, now you see what I'm doing is I'm looking at, this is a riser pad if you don't know what that is, but it has, these these holes have to match up with these holes, and it looks like this truck will not fit. So let's look at the Kryptonic with a, this is just a Kryptonic truck with a Huck Jam bushing. No, it's a, this is a weird one, this is a Kryptonic truck with one Kryptonic bushing and another Huck Jam bushing. It's like a Franken truck. And then it has two, I don't know what kind of hardware this is, but I don't, it has a really nice kingpin nut though. So, let's see if this will fit. Well, this would fit but I would have to drill holes in it, and I and I really don't want to drill holes in this truck. So let's try the Crux. No, I think this is a Crux truck, but don't quote me on that, because I I honestly do not know. But this is a I think Crux truck with a Crux hanger and a. It's weird. It had that green bushing right there. That is a Kryptonics bushing, and then the top bushing. Okay, a bushing is this. If, you, if you're new to this and you don't know what it is, a bushing is the green part. So, yeah, that is what a bushing is. Let's see if this will... This looks like it'll fit, honestly. If it does, I'm going to put it on the back here. So, let's look. This is the mother load. This, this will fit. So, okay... We know we can fit this truck on, so we're going to have to take two, two of these wheels off, one of these. We're going to have to take two of these wheels off, and then we're going to have to take this truck off. So let, let's start out and take the truck off. Okay, so it's not very hard. All you have to do is put your wrench right there, and then just start cranking. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> I just wanted to do this one really out of fun. This is something that I really want to try and do. One of my favorite, one of my favorite skating company channels, Braille Skateboarding, does this. They like, they do like, you make it, we skate it, and then they do like, um, Stupid Skate, which is, it's like horse for basketball, but they take different... They take different types of boards, 
like one was just um one was just a like a they've skated a um saw before I do know that they have skated they've skated a lot of different stuff and I really like watching their channel and that's where I got the to do that's where I got the inspiration to do that I like that word inspiration because I've used it quite often in the past past couple weeks I've been like using inspiration regularly but yeah I may start doing things like this once I get a board I once I get a new board I am going to do a um, I'm going to do a setup video, which probably won't take more than five minutes, which this is at 5.55, but setting up a board does not take that long, but, but, in my defense, it will be my first time ever actually setting up a board on my own. So, that's why I'm on, that's part of the reason why I'm taking apart this board is to get me used to the fact that, hey, I can actually take apart boards now, and that's why I've built these two Franken trucks but what I did with these trucks is I took them off I had a board that I made I know you'll probably know this if you've watched any of my if you've watched the vlog that had this in it but I took a board that I made out of a 2 by a 2 by 4 that was like 5 feet long I took it off I took uh I took the trucks off of it, and I completely took them apart, threw away about everything that was on them, and then um, I completely rebuilt them. That's why they have like the Puck Jam and then the Kryptonics. But yeah, there is the board without that truck on it, and here's the truck. Okay, I may take this apart sometime. It's been through a lot, actually. But yeah, let's get this. Okay, one thing I have to say, whenever you're putting a board together, always make... I, I know this... No one watching this will want to set up a board, probably, but always make sure that... This that the kingpin, kingpin, like, bolt, are, the kingpin bolts are facing each other. Because if you put them the other way, so, say I was to put this, this is how it goes. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it goes like that. See that kingpin bolt, and then the kingpin bolt over there? If you were to turn this around like that, and I was to turn this one around, that would make this board whenever you leaned. Okay, so if you lean this way, the board would go the the board would go that way. So you'd completely like die. Yeah, because if you're it does like this, but if you change them, it go and it'd be insanely weird and hard to ride. I may do that someday. I may in a future video, I may take apart a board after I wear in my new board and after I get another board because I plan to buy two boards one right after another my birthday is here in not too long it's actually 12 days from now but um yeah I'm planning to get a revived skateboard I'm getting an Aaron yeah I'm getting an Aaron Cairo skateboard so, I will get that board, and that will be my board, and then I will try and buy another skate. They're like 38 bucks a piece, though, so it'll be it'll be a little while before I get another one. But I want to break that board in, and then I'm going to you. I'm going to um, then I'm going to buy another board, and then I'm going to use the Aaron Cairo board that I get for my birthday for like putting two different size trucks on, or putting, oh, I want to try this, I want to put uh, penny board trucks on one, 
See this thing's getting razor tail pretty hard. Okay, the truck is on, but it is very loose. So we need to tighten the bolts. And the way you tighten bolts is you go, you make a star pattern. You go from the bottom, you go here. No, you go here, 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 and then here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, this bolt, and turn the board over, and turn this around. I'm just gonna hold the, there we go, and I'm just gonna crank it, and not get it too tight, but get it tight to where it stays. And then I'm going to go to this bolt, and I'm going to put my wrench on it, and yeah. And then I'm going to just crank and crank and crank and crank. Get it to where it's sort of tight, but not too tight. And then I'm going to go to this bolt. Crank and crank and crank and get it to where it's just tight in the... And then I'm going to go to this bolt now. If I can get the stupid thing on, and I'm going to crank and crank and crank to where I get it just tight enough to where I can go back to the first bolt. Most skaters don't realize this, but the reason that whenever you fall and your board goes like off to this side or that side is because your your board has unequal weight on your bolts. And it favors one side or the other. And so I like to do mine in a star pattern and tighten them to where that that does not happen because it equally it equalizes the weight that's on the board and on your trucks so that that does not happen okay, I, made, I might have tightened this one up a little bit a little bit too much I should have put a riser pad on this I'm just now realizing that I might have done messed up. I might have just messed up. But yeah, here is our truck on. Okay, this is a normal skate, normal skate truck on a penny board. That doesn't look terrible. It just does does not look good. I wish. One thing I honestly wish is I could take these these off because these spin so good. I wish I could take these off and put them on my regular skate trucks so I could skate them, but I can't because I honestly, I honestly do not know how to take off penny board trucks because there's some, I think penny board trucks have a, have a bar on the inside instead of just one central axle. It's weird. But yeah, I need to take off this, that is a spacer, I need to take off the bolts first, gosh, <sighs> okay, here, put that on, and then I need to put the wheel on, and I need to take the other spacer, and put it on this board, and I need to take the bolt, put it, Tighten it just enough to where it gets a little bit of leniency, but not too much to where you're... Yeah, see? See, it barely moves at all, but it does move, and it gets good. It th The bearings in it are not very good. The bearings in my wheels are not very good. I'm saying that right now. So, yeah. And then take this wheel off. Put this right. son of a buckeye. Okay, I got this. I thought that the um, spacer would fall off because spacers are very hard to find whenever you, whenever you like, drop them in the floor. Because these things are okay. This one would not be hard to find, but you know, like a black spacer. See. So, yeah, put that on there. Put this on here. This Sorry, this is going to be a long video, but I really enjoy doing this. 
just put this on tight enough. Loosen it just a bit. There you go. There is... <laughs> this thing looks stupid. Okay, this is why I needed to put a riser pad on here. See this? And look at that. <laughs> yeah, but there is the Franken board. And I will get probably a clip of writing this, but I may not. I may just upload this video raw. So, yeah, that is the Franken board. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I surely enjoy I sure enjoyed making it. So, see y'all in the next one. I really want to make a I really want to make a, a uh series of this. So, see y'all in the next one.